Uh, my name is Raphael Brode, and uh, I work in the livestock genetics uh, program at Iwi, Nairobi, um, and as a geneticist. I hold a joint position with SRC uh, in Edinburgh. So the critical factor I will be speaking to this morning is getting the science right. So how did all how did it all start? I am from Nigeria and I'm from a family of five children. I'm the last born. And my father and mother we had a rope up a rope up plantation. So that was the means by which uh, the family was actually sustained and sent us to school. So, but just to give you a quick picture, when my, the, my the brother uh, after, before me, so just my immediate senior brother, finished primary school, there were not enough resources to send him to secondary school. So basically, he finished primary school, I was just helping around in the farm. So I finished primary school as well, and it, it looks a bit unfair for them to send me to secondary school when my brother was here at home. So they said, okay, let's send both of them together. We just see how we could you know, get through. So both of us went to secondary school. And of course, you're from the village and you feel, you feel so glad just to be in the secondary school or just something delightful. But the secondary school in the village, or this is a rural place, was a college school, a college mission. They funded it very well, and so we had good teachers, very good standards. So this attracted uh, people, students from politicians, wealthy people, very rich people, they would send their kids here. So you go from a rural place and you meet all these kids from very rich families. But the thing about these kids was that they came with, you know, they have already been well instructed by their parents. We wanted to be a doctor, we wanted to be a lawyer, so they came very well prepared, ready to study, and so they were very competitive. So I became their friends, and so the competition began. So they pushed me, and we pushed each other. It was a very competitive class. So we all, about five of us, we always struggled. Who would be the first in the class? And so the competition began. That began to push me, and that began to enlarge my vision. Maybe I, if I'm from the village, I could, I could do something big as well. So, I begin to, my desire for knowledge begin to increase. You know, but life has a way to repeat itself. So we finished primary school, of course, went to finish secondary school, and I found myself in the University of Ife, Nigeria. And again, I met a group of people, boys, very competitive. They said, we are here to break the record. That was just their real aim. Wow, I said, okay, I'll join the group. <laughs> so. The competition began again, and we really broke every record in that faculty that year. And maybe one of you might, you might know one of them, uh, Dr. Akin Adeshino, the president of the African Development, <laughs> <laughs> <It's> my classmate. <laughs> so, so that is how it began. So I think my desire for knowledge began to increase. But in addition to that, I must not forget two teachers that took me under their arms in my secondary school. And they gave me time, they showed personal interest, they gave me space, they were demanding excellence from me. And I must say they helped me, they pushed me, and that was very helpful in developing my desire for knowledge. But what actually made a marked change in my life was in the fourth year of my degree for agriculture. So that year, the university changed the curriculum. So after three years of lectures, you spend a whole year in the farm with farmers, several farmers. You move from farm to farm. We were the first, and so we were the guinea pigs. So, we are, so that year, there were no lectures. I moved from farm to farm, stayed with farmers, ate with them, talked with them. They asked me questions, and I discovered, in spite of all my knowledge, I couldn't answer most of the questions. And so that began to make me to think that there must be something more than pure science. If my science is going to work, it's going to be relevant and work for the farmers. 
And that philosophy sort of affected me and affected the way I began to look at life. So when I finished um, my first degree at IFE, then I went to Edinburgh University to do my PhD. And the first thing that hit me was the gap knowledge. So much knowledge there. And looking back from Nigeria, I said, how come that I wasn't even aware there so much? So that was the first time I said, now it is time for me to make science simple and applicable. And so that was the reason why I wrote the first book, Media Models for the Prediction of Brady Values. It is in the third edition, and it's still widely used around the world. The motivation behind it, how can I make science simple and applicable? And so that was, that's so philosophy. And that was the thing that brought me first to Erie. I was invited, first of all, to Erie to come and give a practical course on animal breeding and genetics. Then after that, I had the opportunity to work with all these wonderful geneticists in the dairy and poultry section. And we tried to see, okay, is it possible to have take complex <coughs> models, breeding programs in developed countries and make it work in Africa. And I think we're having a crack at it. ADG is making some progress. And, and I'm really delighted to, be, to have the opportunity to do that. So in concluding, I, have to, I want to underscore three things. The first one is that competition is good. Even fierce competition, it helped me. It, it can make us to get the science right. The second point is teachers. Teachers who pour their life into me, who have confidence in me, encourage me, and I'm sure all of you are here because of teachers. And I really just want to take this opportunity for those teachers who pour out their life. Maybe we don't even acknowledge them. For me, they made me to get my science right. And finally, the practical year, it helped me. It made me to realize that getting the science right it's actually making sure it will work for farmers. Thank you very much.